of the living room is what I think is gonna be the kitchen area. So let's set that up first so that I know how much space I need to work with with the living room furniture. It's another example of this tree. Also, sorry for my uh, paper boy 1805 look here, but um, this tree is also very underwhelming here. It doesn't look like it because you guys aren't seeing the full pan and I will give you a shot from, back, from far back, but it's simply too small from the vaulted ceilings. So I'm probably gonna get <coughs> another tree like the one that I just styled in the dining room. And maybe this will work in a different space, but just to play around with and because I don't know where else to put this item. But if you guys remembered my staircase decor in the last house, all those things don't work here because, or there's not the same spot here because there's no stairs. So I'm left over with the mirror and the table and I'll show you like where the table went, but we've got this big arch mirror. And for now, let's just like put it back here. Um, we'll see how that goes. All right, so for now we're just gonna work with this, but just so that you guys can see, um, I think a taller tree will make the space look a little bit more elevated. Um, so now that we've kind of got this little section out of the way, I think it is too close, so I'm gonna have to move it in further. So I'm gonna keep that in mind now when I stage this. So I'm gonna try to get this chair further up, and that way I can kind of slide, slide this out. So I got in this tree and I actually really do like it. I need to work on fluffing it a little bit more. However, it's still a little too short, even though this is supposed to be, I think this is supposed to be an eight footer, but I don't know if it's seven or eight, but I got out some books and I'm gonna put the books underneath and raise that up a little bit more.
that is such a bigger difference. I just need to get some moss to cover that up. All right, this is what I've come to with this little nook area. I don't even know, honestly, if that is what this space was designed for. I do know that based off of where they put like the TV plugs and everything, that this is where the TV goes. And so from a centered perspective, this is how my furniture fits. And I actually have very big wide furniture. This is like a 96 inch couch. So, you know, even if my furniture wasn't big, I guess it's like even basic size, I don't know. This chair still ends here. And then we'd be left with this like hole, if you will, over here. So. Even when I walked this house the first time by myself, I thought that I would put my kitchen table here. Um, because one of the things as I was looking at other homes was there were rooms that were missing that I had furniture for, if that makes sense. And so I wanted to make sure that when I found a house that like all of my furniture pieces would fit, I wouldn't have to get rid of them. I wouldn't have to put them in storage. <clears throat> so I've got my formal dining room there. I've got my living room here and I just put my kitchen nook table here. So in case you were curious about that, um, and I actually really like it, even if it's not meant to be here, traditionally supposed to be here, it really works for me and for Micah. So of course I have um, only three new items in this space, um, but otherwise it is has remained somewhat the same. Look how cute Loki looks. Uh, we've got the same rug that I had in the last house, although from, you can't tell, but it needs some cleaning. Um, and then I've got my table and my chairs. The table and chairs were sold separately and through different places. In case you're wondering, I forget where I got my table from, but I'm sure it's in like the original video in the last house when I bought it. And um, so I love the colors, you know, it's just kind of like going with this like natural oak look. So it really does complement this house a lot. And then I got this bigger vase. The, the original little potted plant that I had was this one right here. So now it is tucked away in the kitchen. So it just looked a little underwhelming in that space. So I ventured out to Home Goods and found this beautiful pot. Like it is stunning. I will say maybe, I don't know if I'll be able to include it by the time I throw up this video, but I'm thinking some different greenery could benefit from this. I'm thinking not as many stems. So I think this is a little too full. And I'm thinking maybe something with a pop of white, like white flowers or something. As a matter of fact, I think I'm, I'm, I must include it in this video, so. Um, but it's Sunday and Hobby Lobby's closed. So anyways, let's just keep moving on with the video and maybe I'll have a clip at the end with the update. If not, that is something that I think will greatly benefit in this space is like just go very minimalist when it comes to how many branches I have in here because this tree is already full on itself. And I wanna just kind of like take you over here. See how minimalist that is? That That's mostly the vibe I'm going for. And then I have a minimalist tree over here. 
Um, well, this is technically an olive tree. I wouldn't call it a minimalist tree. Um, but, you know, it's not as full as the other ones. So I definitely think that I need to change out the greenery. So now let's talk about this plant back here. The plant that I originally had, which was also another olive tree, it just was not working. It was simply too small for the space. I mean, it was coming to right here. That's how big this tree is. And that other tree is a six footer. So this is an eight footer. Now, here's what I'll say about this tree. I'm gonna link it for you. I do love it, but I give it an eight out of 10. Okay, the reason why I'm giving it an eight out of 10 is because it does not technically look at all like the photo. In the photo, it was like more round. It looked like it had like trimmed, it was like a rounded tree. I'll throw up a picture of it here so that you can see. Um, this is what it came and what it looks like. I tried to flush, fluff it as best as I could. I don't think there's any way to have fluffed it the way they had it. I don't know. Maybe there, there is a way and I just don't know how to do it, but I don't see how the hell that this tree is supposed to look like that one. So, but I'm still giving it a pretty high rating because I do think that it's full and I like how the stem is like s simple. There's no other like branches coming off of it. So I do like that aspect. And then I got this, <clears throat> um, planter i actually have the matching one in the dining room and i also got it from home goods i really like this like i forget what this is called but there's a term for this where it's like grooved like this um it's very popular right now because it kind of gives like i think 60s retro I, there's a name for it again i'm sorry i'm forgetting but i really do like that i went with a white pot because this room is really kind of sticking to like very bright white colors and then i bought two packets of this moss from amazon and now let's talk about this mirror because if you've watched all my videos you know that i've been struggling with this space right here so what i originally did well originally the mirror was here then I moved the mirror here, kind of like in this empty space. And so what I was, was going to do here was put some art prints and I did buy them and they're from Etsy. Let me show you guys how cute they are. I actually bought two of them as an 18 by 24 and they actually have cows. I don't know what it is about cows. I've always wanted to kind of have them in my art print and I thought these would work great. And then here's the second one because here's what I was thinking. When you look at my artwork coming through the house, you have one big art print, one big art print. The last thing I wanted to do, now imagine my original thought was that my mirror would be here and that this empty space would have art print. But then I thought, one, one. So I thought it'd be great if I stacked two, kind of give it a little bit more visual effect. Um, I was going to get these framed in like a thin black modern frame just to kind of keep to the modern side. In the end, I, for whatever reason, I realized that these prints just don't flow in the direction that I want the house to flow. It just went a little too more vintage than I liked. So when I realized that those prints were not gonna work for me, I moved on to my next thought, which is, let me go back to juniperprintsshop.com, which is where I got the living room artwork and my office artwork. If you didn't watch the my office decorate with me, please go watch it. You guys need to see this artwork because it's beautiful. Oh, it's stunning. I wish there was something very similar to it, but I haven't seen it yet. But anyways, so I went back to them and I did find an art print I really like. And I thought, okay, well, let me just do one then, another one art print and do an 18 by 24, frame it in black and put it right where that mirror is. And then the mirror would be right here. But I feel like, is that gonna be too much artwork? And something about the mirror looks really lovely. What I don't wanna find myself doing is the same repetitive 
decorating, if you will. When I was touring the apartments with Micah, if you didn't watch my vlog channel, um, I showed how we were looking at apartments in downtown Dallas, and we were taken to this one that was a model apartment for a one bedroom, and it was so inspirational just seeing like a professional decorator and like what they did in that space. And in their dining room, they actually had like a very vintage rusted out mirror um, that faced the dining room. And, um, you know, so what I mean by repetitive is I don't wanna frame every space with a print, with artwork. You know, I could do something different in terms of artwork. So I think this looks very nice to me personally. Um, of course, I could do a different collage of mirrors there, but I'm already doing like a set of three in my dining room as well. So I'm thinking the one is just nice, plus I already have this mirror, you know what I mean? And there's no other spot right now for this mirror. So um, I'm thinking this is the final product. My only thing is this empty space right here. And, and is that okay? I think it is okay. I don't think that just because there's a space I need to throw something up on it. You know what I mean? Um, maybe what I could do, I'm gonna just pick you guys up. So I'm sorry if I'm like moving y'all around too fast, but we have this wall that's adjacent right here and I could put some artwork there and that could actually be really nice. I could do a set of two, maybe even a stack of three. So just to give you guys, you know, that visual of the flow of this place, there's a lot of green going on. Um, and as weird as this sounds, I'm going to go ahead and film my ending to this video, even though tomorrow I'm going to pop into Hobby Lobby and I'll get this updated and that will be in this video. Um, but I'm just going to end the video with how I am today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love the decorate with me. This house is coming along much faster because I had already all of this furniture. Um, because when I moved from Florida to this last house, I sold all of my furniture. So it took a lot longer to put that house together. But um, I'm very excited with the progress that I've been making. And I can't wait for to do the patio. And then we'll end up doing my bedroom. And then once Micah moves out, we'll do a guest bedroom eventually. And that's it. Hope you guys got any inspiration from this video. I'll link everything that I can down below. And I'll see you next time.